bet horse racing on DRF Bets. We'll match your first deposit of $200. Get free expert picks and past performances, plus weekly cash back. All from Daily Racing Form, the most trusted name in horse racing. Hi, everyone. I'm David Aragona, and this is the January 3rd, 2023 edition of Horses to Watch, where we carefully analyze trips from the last week, looking for horses that encountered adversity and could be worth betting back when they run back in the future. It's the first show of the new year, kicking off a new season of Horses to Watch, and fittingly, we're going to take a look at two replays that straddle that New Year's. One race from New Year's Eve, December 31st, and one from New Year's Day, January 1st. And both of these races are from Gulfstream Park, typically a I look for races that take place in New York, but I thought it was a pretty slow week of trips at Aqueduct. So we're going south to Florida to take a look at these two races from Gulfstream. We're going to begin with that race from December 31st, Saturday, race five on that Saturday card. It's a maiden special weight event going a mile and a 16th on the dirt for two-year-olds that are about to turn three years old. Let's break these runners from the gate, and we're going to focus on the number eight young Frau. And this is a horse that has sort of earned his way onto this show, not just because of this trip, but because of his entire body of work. This was the third start of his career, and I thought he was somewhat interesting and almost made an appearance on the show after his last race at Aqueduct, when he kind of got a tentative, conservative ride from Jose Ortiz, awkward trip that day, and just looked like a horse that even though he finished fourth showed more ability than that and obviously uh, could do better in his next start and clearly did so as he was the winner of this race though the winner via disqualification we'll get to that in just a little bit but you can see young frau in those judmont green and pink silks in second place right now got a little bit keen moving around that clubhouse turn but relaxes onto the back stretch and he's sitting in a perfect position right here but you're going to see the number seven expect more is going to range up on the outside of him you see the head-on shot there young frau the gray with the pink cap and expect more just to his outside that number seven he is going to range up outside and put young frau into a little bit of a pocket behind that leader just at the point in time that the leader number four dream knight starts to fade a little bit and you can see now young frau winds up in this pocket here and at Gulfstream park where kickback on the dirt is typically a major factor a lot of horses can't pause in traffic like this as young frau has to do and then angle outside and make a second move to come on again but young frau does just that and you can see he's going to angle between horses right here after getting passed by expect more and right as he's gathering momentum to challenge the leader right here expect more is going to drift out pretty severely and you'll see it right here as the leader gets hit with the left-handed crop and he's going to veer out and interfere with young frau at the top of the stretch and i like the way the young frau continues to battle on after that kind of emboldened by getting interfered with and he's going to photo with this winner as they come onto the finish line i'm calling expect more the winner because he does cross Cross the wire first, barely by a nose, but Young Frau did get elevated to the victory via disqualification. So Young Frau is the one that will move up to face winners in his next start. And I think he's the kind of horse that could get dismissed at a decent price next time out. He doesn't have that outright victory in his past performances. And at three year olds at this time of year, newly turned three year olds often are forced to move up into stakes company when they face winners. And he's a little bit light on speed figures. I think he just got a 73 buyer for this victory, but I think he's a horse by by Arrogate out of a tapid mare that is going to continue getting better with added distance. And I think he's even better than these last two results would indicate. I think he's a horse that does have potential to continue progressing, having gotten a good education in these last two starts. Let's move on to a race from a Sunday's card at Gulfstream Park, January 1st. Again, this is the fifth race of the day. This is an optional claiming 62500 with a conditional allowance condition here, going one mile on the turf course. Let's break these runners from the gate, and I want to focus on two horses in this race, the number four, Eyes on Target, and the number 10, Portfolio Company. And they're going to be right alongside each other in the early portion of this race towards the back of the pack. You see them highlighted there in the two and three path right next to each other. And it's notable that they are this far back in the early going because you can see the field is starting to get bunched up as they head into the clubhouse turn. You saw eyes on target in that pink cap with the, ye with the yellow sleeves kind of tapping on the brakes there. He's last right now. And even the horse ahead of him, the number 10 portfolio company, both of their riders are back in the stirrups. The horses are getting a little bit of rank underneath of them and that's because the pace is really slowing down on the front end the other riders in this race basically just afforded no respect to this 29 to 1 shot showing his 25 to 1 on the lead into the sunrise they just let this law 
long shot getaway, and he's going to be the eventual winner as he steals this race on the lead, getting away with some pretty slow fractions. You see the opening quarter go up in 24. It's kind of hard sometimes to put fractions into context at Gulfstream Park where they use all different rail settings, but there was another division of this race where the half mile went in a 1.5 seconds faster than the 47 and 4 fraction you see posted in this race. And take a look at Eyes on Target. He's the one in that pink cap now making a three wide move around the far turn. And that's a really tough thing to do when the pace is slow to try to cover more ground than everybody else going three to four wide, trying to make your move on the turn. And it's going to take its toll on Eyes on Target because he lacks a little bit of finish once they get into the stretch. Not so per for Portfolio Company, who did save more ground on the turn, but watch the way this horse really quickens through the lane. He is hitting his best stride at the end of this race and basically just runs out of real estate as he does run up into second to finish uh, uh, just about a length and a half behind that winner into the sunrise. In my opinion, there's no question that Portfolio Company should have won this race with a fairer pace scenario. He came home his final quarter mile in 22.40 seconds. If you look at the GMAX timing system, it times uh, the entire race in 16th of a mile increments. And he definitely had the fastest closing split of anybody in here. But I also want to give some credit to Eyes on Target, who finished fourth in this race, but he did cover the most ground of anybody going three wide when be trying to make that move around the second turn. And even though he was beaten about a length and a half by Portfolio Company, I thought he ran a comparable race to that one. And both of these might have run the first and second best races, but they ended up finishing second and fourth across the wire. So I think both of these horses could do much better if they run back for this allowance condition in their subsequent starts. So well, those are all the races that we're looking at on Horses to Watch this week. If you want to follow any of these horses moving forward, just add them to your horse watch on DRF.com and you'll get email notifications when these horses run back in the future. Thanks for tuning in this week and make sure to catch future episodes of Horses to Watch on upcoming Wednesdays.